Hey Asher from All Things Dentistry. Have you ever wondered what your file looks like at the end of a root at certain positions on the apex locator? This is a continuation of two videos where we're investigating what and where our files are at different measurements on an apex locator. And you know, Dr. Rikuchi has been kind enough to provide me permission to use his initial video and he's actually suggested that we continue with this investigation. Let's compare where our file is with the ape, relative to the apex locator on a radiograph and what does it look like under the microscope? Okay, so here we are. We're gonna to get to four red bars on the apex locator. Reads 22, where I'm seeing. So 22 millimeters to the red, four red bars. So let's put our tooth back in the alginate. Well, okay, okay, you Seriously, Dad? Take. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at this. So at four red bars, essentially, the file is at the radiographic apex. Well, let's take a look at this under the microscope to see what it looks like. Okay, so under, the mag under magnification at roughly 12 times, you can see the number 20 file and how it relates to the radiograph that you see on the left and the image you see on the right. And you have to remember, again, this is a 20 file and compare that size to the major foramen. Okay, so we did four bars and let's back this file out and let's take a look at one red bar. All right, let's do this. So in our previous video, we've taken the x-rays uh, for these teeth at these different locations. So we're just gonna take a look under the microscope at one red bar. So this is where I was trained and most of my friends were trained uh, to take our apex locator to. So the, you can see that the file is just right inside the major foramen, if you want, if you may, and it's just barely visible. And this again is one red bar. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to walk this right back to the spot where Dr. Rikuchi has suggested based on his evidence where to stop your preparation and operate your case is right at the end of the blue unit section. So on a radiograph, this is where it, it appears on this extracted tooth. And then when we take a look under the microscope, so this is about 12 times magnification, you can see the major foramen and no sight of the file. Actually, there it is, it's just hiding, it's peeking. It's just peeking at us from the inside. And there it is, it's just tiny. And you know, that's a number 20 size file. So you can imagine this is a C-shaped canal. Uh, and then there it is saying hi to us. So this is a 20 size file and it's fairly tiny compared to the size of that major foramen. So what does it look like when the file is actually right at the radiographic apex? All right, so let's match this. So the file matches where the apical radiograph is. If the radiographic apex, so we'll put that back in there. I know that's gonna scream four bars and let's take a look there. Let's see what happens. There it is. So it's actually at the apical radiographic apex. Okay, so that's the radiographic interpretation of uh, the file at the radiographic apex. Let's take a look under high magnification. So we're still at roughly 12 times. And you can see I've moved the file out. So it kind of lines up with the what you could imagine would be the PDL spacing. You can see how far actually out that file is. So let's go up to 20 times magnification and there we are. So depending on the angulation that you take with the radiograph and also this image, uh, it depends, you'll see where the file lines up with the radiographic apex or just the PDL. And the learning point here is that if you're filling or obturating to your radiographic apex, you are consistently long. So finally, I just wanted to share with you this, this premolar that I just recently extracted literally five minutes ago and I took it out. This patient has had this tooth in this condition for about 15 years. He just, it's crown fractured, and then it's time now for an implant. It's non-restorable. So you can see here that the obturation material is not at the radiographic apex. Uh, it actually looks short in one of the roots, and it, it's super healthy. It's actually incredible, and literally it's been like this for 15 years. So what I wanted to do was take a look under the, under the microscope, and let's see, let's just take a look at it. So here's the extracted tooth and I've taken an eight file. I'm trying to sneak it into the portal of exit on the palatal root. And it roughly is approximately a millimeter. The obturating material is obturating material is a millimeter short of the root surface. And you can see here that the 
portal of exit is nowhere near the radiographic apex. That's another point to learn to see. When I go to look at the buccal root, there is no main portal of exit. So I'm assuming that it's actually a crazy delta that did not, you couldn't get and file out, or potentially there was a bunch of, you know, it was obturated with dentin chips, but I think moreover, it was one of those cases where the tooth was blocked, you know, at the apical constriction, you just couldn't get a file out and they obturated at length. And you know what? It turned out amazing, ironically. So next what we're going to do is we're going to stain the root surface with methylene blue dye and it may help to kind of see if we have a portal of exit on the on that buccal root surface. Short of having a micro CT in my back pocket, which I don't carry one around in my minivan. However, uh, we're going to go old school visualization because that's all I've got. So that's a C plus file number eight in my hand and there I've, that is where the palatal portal of exit is that you can see. And the point that I wanted to, to show is that they're actually I think there is actually a lot of truth to what Dr. Rikuchi is talking about, that maintaining your filling obturating material within the canal will lead to success in your root canal. Thanks so much for joining me to this point. I really appreciate your time. You know, place your comments below, subscribe, like, and you know what? Um, if you have any other questions about this apex locator thing, please place them below and we'll totally try to investigate it. And I just got this in the mail, this Maju Pro. I'm excited about it. Um, this is just for, you know, doing some sim stuff and teaching. So we're going to try that with our, our young dentist as well. And I'm actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to modify this so we can make it a little faster to set up because uh, I'm taking a look at it and it doesn't look that uh, quick to set up. Half an hour. Let's do a triad and do a little bit quicker. Anyways, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.